This is Gernon Thacker, and it's been a while since we've had an office tour. Let's do that. But before we take a look at all this wonder stuff over here, take a look at this stuff. Here we have what I'm dubbing the Wall of Hot Wheels. If you want to be technical, and Matchbox, but mainly Hot Wheels. So eventually all of this just big giant wall is going to be filled with just a lot and lots and lots of Hot Wheels. Over here we've got a big old King Kong. And next King Kong we have the original five posters of the original Planet Apes Saga. I love these things, they are so cool. You guys might know that I kind of love Planet Apes, so of course I'm going to love these things. They're awesome. Below them we got more Planet Apes, you would have guessed. We have the Burn Remake and the Rise Trilogy. And we have some character posters from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. As well as that little handsome devil, who is that? Moving down, we got a random section filled with mainly plushies, but also squeezy lemons, my favorite. Many the mammoth, Toy Story, Shrek, more Shrek, a very tattered VHS of Shrek, and a magic eight ball. Let's ask a question, shall we? Will Andy pick me? Will Kingdom of the Planet Apes be really, really good? You get nothing! This thing is so old that like, it's like, you can't, you can barely see it, so. Moving on over, we have got nothing! But over next to it, we got some stuff. We have the beginning of my dinosaur collection. I ran to a 2000 movie by Disney. And a lot of people hate it, but personally, I love it. It's my third favorite movie. And I have started my dinosaur collection, as you can proudly see. They might be asking, why three VHSs? Well, one's a condition. That guy right there. He's mint in the box! If I see a dinosaur VHS in the wild, I have to get it. And we have this very cool dinosaur hand puppet from McDonald's. So the collection will slowly grow over time. And I imagine that will just probably fill up all of this. Just this entire section will just be dinosaur stuff. Moving downtown, we've got more random stuff. SpongeBob, Elvis Presley. Hey, there goes Elvis! Alf, the um, Game of Thrones Pinocchio. Hello there. We got this very cool Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. Isn't that special? I am a bit of a dinosaur nerd, so this guy is very cool to me. I am so sorry. West little mini Muppet Legos. Moving over, we got some Gremlin stuff, which is spilling out from the Gremlin section, which we'll get into in a bit. These guys are very, very, very cool. And we got Willy Wonka, cause you know, a very obvious theme going on around here. But I guess moving down, We've got more random stuff. We got some pops, King Adora, some frogs. That thing's just cool. We got the 10th anniversary DVD of Edward Scissorhands. A DVD of one of the most underrated movies ever made. What's eating Gilbert Grape? If you haven't seen this, for the love of God, go watch it. Last time I checked, it was free on YouTube, so you know what? I'll link it in the description. Go watch it. It's actually kind of a masterpiece. We got my favorite band and singer. Because you see kids, back in the day, there were these things called CDs and cassettes. And you would have to mainly put these things into a car or a boombox. This is before we had all your Bluetoothy stuff and your Spotify's. No, we had CDs and cassettes. And you know what? We liked it. Moving over, we have more random stuff. This is the random section, everybody. We had this very cool Power Rangers figure. If something's tiny, it's cool. It's just a fact. We had Dr. Zash from Planet of the Apes, uh, Howard the Duck for one, Miss Mitz, Elmer Fudd. That's, that's, that is not Elmer Fudd. That is Fred Flintstone. There we go. Use the little brain power, Gary Don. A Funko Pop pin of Roger Rabbit and a buildable Adam West Batmobile. Moving up from that, we got the Gremlins section. You guys know I kind of like Gremlins. And this section is just Gremlins galore. We got some bobbleheads, a lot of NECA figures. I guess we're from Gremlins. We got Bugs Life. Very natural transition there. I guess you'd call this the Bugs Life section, kind of. As in, we do have a few Bugs Life VHSs here. And we have some tin boxes here, which I think are really cool. I guess moving up, yeah, we got this very 
odd pizza plant alien flick. I saw this at Walmart. Guys, you never see Bugs Life merchandise. It's not a thing you see, like, ever. So when I saw this, I had to get it. We also have RC and the Pizza Planet truck. These guys should probably be over there. But they're just so cool. They deserve their own special spot. Come on. And we had these very cool Bugs Life toys from the 90s. A Flick and Hopper. They do show their wear. Mainly with Flick. But you know what? They're so pretty darn cool in my opinion. From Bugs, we got cars. Just saying. Coolest Lightning McQueen to ever exist. You wanna know why? That. This. This is why. We also got Michelangelo and Crib the Frog. Moving down, we got some Kill Clans from Outer Space. And man, do I love the Kill Clans merchandise. Moving down from Killer Clowns, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You guys, I absolutely love TMNT. One of my favorite things, just. Ever. Period. From Turtles to DC and Marvel. Around here we can enjoy both. We got some Marvel stuff, some DC stuff. My Replica 1989 Batarang. As well as more Funko Pops. Just a lot of Funko Pops. The 89 Batmobiles, just fully on display like they should be. Or almost Captain America, everybody's favorite. Robert Patterson and Michael Keaton Batmans. And we have the three Spider-Man. Which is just lovely to see, of course. My boy Toby. And Freud went ass, yes. I do have a Pez collection. I have Pez and Scarf at the office, and so I have a lot of them. Out of the way, Jack Sparrow chair. You're my favorite, but you get out of the way. You're in my way. From Spider-Man, we got toys. That's right, it's the Toy Story section. Everybody's favorite section of the day. We've got this really cool Toy Story Tamagotchi. It's a cool little mini stuff you might recognize, might not, who knows. We've got Toy Story, Toy Story, and Toy Story 2 on VHS. And of course, we have Buzz, Woody, Forky, Stinky P, and Zerg. But let's continue the story and go over to this little section right down here. We got the 2012 Team and T series. And the 1987 TMT series. All five seasons, all ten seasons. The 2003 series has also been released. And once I get it, it's gonna go right there. Moving up, we got this section. Pretty much a mini random section. We got these really cool TMT figures. They're super cheap, but I love how they look. We have Wreck-It Ralph because, uh, he had nowhere else to go, gonna be honest. And we have one of my favorite things in the office, Wilson. Moving down, we got a Dark Crystal section. I guess kind of like a Jim Henson section. Because we got Elmo, Dark Crystal. And of course we got Jim Henson himself with Kirby the Frog. And we got some more kind of 70s stuff to kind of just kind of fit in there with the, you know, kind of old school kind of puppetry kind of stuff by the Lost, Rudolph. The Dark Crystal Creation Myths comic series. One of my favorites. I love this thing. And the complete first season of Fraggle Rock. Moving up, we have the Ghostbusters section. You guys know I love Ghostbusters. And, uh, this is one of the coolest things I own. Stay Puff Helicopter. But we also got some pops and stuff. From one franchise to another, we have Jurassic Park. You guys know I absolutely love Jurassic Park. It's one of my favorite franchises, just period. We have the original trilogy on VHS, which is just awesome. And we have one of my personal favorite things in the studio. That's just cool, man. Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm. And we have some more JP stuff over here. Moving up, we've got another Gremlin section. This is the Gremlin stuff that I want to actually display. We have a lot of your more well known Gremlin stuff, like Gizmo, Stripe, Mohawk, and unironically my dream car. And of course, some Fungal Pops. Along with the big old Gizzy Boy. Moving over, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean. We have some older stuff, some newer stuff. A Diamond Select Action Fear Jack Sparrow. Guys, though, I love Pirates of the Caribbean so much. Selling away from pirates, we have Chucky. This little Chucky Saxon with the just classic voodoo knife. I wish Funko remade this pop. Because you guys know, Child's Play 2, Chucky doesn't have scars. Now, Bri have Chucky. I mean, yeah, he Chucky does. But not Child's Play 2 Chucky. And then we have these rare 1998 fairs from Bri of Chucky. Chucky looks a little, uh, interesting. Ew. No one would buy it. But Tiffany looks pretty good. 
We have your good guy boxes, of course, and a VHS of the original Child's Play. And because I know you guys are going to mention it, yes, I have a um, not official poster for War for the Planet of the Apes. Everybody knows, they come out in July, not September. And yes, I know, Dawn's over here. I'm trying to get Rise. It's going to go right there. But things take time, money, and patience. Indiana Jones section. And I guess technically Jaws too. This is one of the coolest pops I own. This thing is cool, man. And we also have a Wonka chocolate bar. Oh, here we got some Funko Pop VHS covers. We have Toy Story, Nightmare Before Christmas, Gremlins, Kill Pops from Outer Space, and oh me oh my, how did I almost forget? The Nightmare Section! Right next to Jurassic Park, I don't know how I missed this. Uh, yeah. And we have one of my favorite Funko Pops. Along with my favorite figures, and a VHS ornament, which is just very specific, and of course, some more pops in the back. This is where all the magic happens, right here. Going down, 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 we get a poster for my favorite movie, Nine. My favorite movie, love it so much. Of course, I'd had the poster of it. And going down some more, we got some more Nine. Now, there's not a lot of Nine merchandise, so I'm very happy to have what I do have. We got one of those limited edition glow in the dark covers. A lot of the naked figures of 1 and 9, if you're wondering. These figures are very fragile. We also have the case of Jurassic Park. And the OG Godzilla himself. Moving over, we got the Iron Giant, some Coraline stuff. Get some more stuff over here like Ellen Ripley, The Fly, Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, your usual. Moving down, we got some E.T. stuff. We got an ET3 pack. We've got Elliot by himself. Very exciting. And we have these very cool ET Pezzes. And of course, we have my favorite Fungo Pops. Absolutely glorious. Along with the free pack of The Office. Very in theme with everything else here, as you can see. Here's a character that's from space. Here's one that goes to space. I thought Lightyear was really good, but I didn't mean to get a whole collection of it. It just kind of happened. Over here we have another random section. Fill with as much as your heart can hold of just random stuff. Overall, the stuff is like, hmm, you have nowhere else to go. I guess you're going here. Also, when I saw this, it made me laugh. Cause if you've seen the flags, you know why this is funny. That's right, it's the Godzilla section. And this little guy. He's not Godzilla, but he's still pretty darn cool. But moving up, we have what might be the best part of this entire section. The horror section. This section is pretty much dedicated to pretty much just horror slashers. We have your big boys. You already know who these guys are. They don't need any introduction, let's be honest. They're just that cool and that popular. We've also got some horror pops in the back just to kind of round everything out. As well as the fly. Also, my favorite of the Universal Monsters. The creature from the Black Lagoon. You guys, I'm Child's Play Fair Horror Franchise, and I love the Chucky figures so much. They're so detailed and nice and accurate size. Man, yes, if you were wondering, it does say it. Above these boys, we got some pretty darn cool stuff. The original Nightmare book. We've also got a little Loki, little keychain thingy. It's cool. And of course, Rexy from Jurassic World, and the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World, and the magical golden camera of wisdom. We also have the full film script of Never Before Christmas, but of course we have the magnum opus of this entire section, Caesar. This bust of Caesar is one of the coolest things I own. It's so highly detailed and high quality, I absolutely love it. Like, you don't get much better than this little guy, just saying. Leveling up, we've got Mario. We'll take into the random section, but it does have Mario and Bowser. We have a real Spider-Man alarm clock, Incredible Hulk, Jack Skellington, as well as the 25th anniversary collection of Home Alone. 
with things like that and that. I know I saw it Christmas, but I can look at this all year round. Jumping down into the cavern, we have more Gremlin. To be more exact, my life-size replica Gremlin puppet. This thing is very cool. We also have a critter. Because you can't have a gremlin without a critter. Gooey. <laughs> a gooey. <laughs> a gooey. <laughs> Skyrocketing up, we have another random section. We have my first pop movie scene, Thor vs. Thanos. Very, very cool. Some Andrew Garfield spider man we got Groot in the Hizzle. The Mosul source from Jurassic World. And a shark that is not Jaws, but it's close enough. Moving down, we got the Queen Alien. And a giant predator. As well as a legitimate mini Pac-Man arcade game. As a matter of fact, let's try it out right quick. And that's why you look where you're going in Pac-Man. Well, such as I was pressing. We also have what I'm pretty sure is Jack Black. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's Jack Black. We also have these cool SpongeBob little cups, as well as the Fanny Gauntlet. A little bit cooler, but that's okay. And before anyone comments, why do you have Star Wars stuff? You've never seen Star Wars? It's cool. It's cool, okay? Got some Minecraft, Ghostface. Moving down, we got the Alien and Predator section, slash random action figure section. Since as, you know, we do got a lot of Alien Predator, we also got, you know, Loki, Buddy the Elf, Ace Ventura, Alf, Caesar's back there, Egghead, Rare 2007 Dontella action figure. But of course, we got a whole bunch of Predators and Xenomorphs. Queen of the aliens, truly. The alien Predator figures are just so cool. Just so unbelievably cool. I adore them. I adore them. Moving down, we got Wally. Just a whole lot of Wally. Guys, so Wally is very important to his channel. So we had to have this whole shrine dedicated to him. I mean, it only makes sense. Wally. I mark it, set, go. Wally. Unbelievably cool. Come back. Where you go? Wally, how dare you? Wally. What do you have to say for yourself, huh, buddy? Huh? What do you have to say? Good choice of words. Love it. Moving down, we've got random Fungo Pops galore. We've got the Earth Day 23 and 22 Fungo Pops. Buddy the Elf, Mecha Godzilla, Edward Scissorhands, Bad Ape, Elvis Presley, Sabrina Spellman. Moving down, we've got more! Olaf, Hercules, with Mini Hercules, Yeti from Monsters Inc., Mike Wazowski, Sully, Kingdom Hearts 3, Goofy, Mr. Mittens from Soul, Zombie Captain America. Then over here we've got FNAF. I guess technically minions, but mainly FNAF. I do love the FNAF pops. I have a lot of them. I hope they make some for the FNAF movie. Because in that case, I will be eating those up. And over here we got some more random Funko Pops. Grinch, Ronald McDonald, Mickey Mouse, Bill Murray, two Bill Murrays, Castaway. Didn't buy that, it was a gift. And we have Wednesday, you guys know I love season one on Wednesday. And of course, upwards, we got nothing. We have one final thing right over here. The Cup Slash Mug Collection. Goodwill, 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 Amazon. I want to clarify, I've never bowled before, but this is cool. Like, it's, it's so, like, it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. Like, why does it exist? I don't care. I love it. Jack Skellington, Sarah from Trick or Treat, and we got a Gremlin Cup. I mean, not only Stripe, but Gizzy Boy. I guess technically that's all. I mean, except for the green screen, but like, pretty much, this is the entire office. Let me know comments below, what is your favorite thing in my office? And of course, later this October and December, I'll change the backgrounds to make them all festive. Bye, guess for now! Bye, Scarlet Packer.